Hey guys, uh, in this video I'd like to show you some updates of my road generation tool in Blender. So I'm building this procedural stuff to help me with my roads. So the idea behind this, uh, of course, all this road is procedural. And I have my base mesh, which is this. And based on this mesh, my system will generate the roads. So I only have to care about placing the stuff. So let's say that I want to extend this neighborhood here and create another neighborhood like here and connect here. I just have to grab my vertices and make some extrusions like here. And I create a connection here. Of course, they have different heights. And oops, let me just create something interesting here, like this. Then I connect here, let me just create a curve here. Okay, uh, I'm creating some more geometry here, and if I want to fill this with streets i just have to press this button and boom my streets is generated so it's very handy and very easy so if i say oh my god this quarter is is very huge so i'd like to reduce his size i just have to reposition my vertices like this and then i regenerate and boom, it's working. So how everything works? Uh, the first thing I'd like to say that this was very inspired by the new Spider-Man game. So if you never take your time to, to see some GDC content, just go ahead and search for my Marvel Spider-Man and you, you're gonna find many amazing stuff to inspire yourself. So yes. So how it works, <laughs> my my system have a small database of this for kinds of roads. So I have uh, a constant road, I have uh, an L shape, I have an X shape and I have a T shape. Of course, I can add more variations later on. And for each point, in my mesh, like this point, for example, uh, the system will check how many neighbors this point have. So in this case, this point have four neighbors. So the best asset to fit here is the X shape. So they would grab this shape, which is an X shape, and place it here. <laughs> so this is how it works. So this, this point is a T shape, this point here is uh, I shape. I name it. This is an I shape because it's constant, and so on. So they will just grab each point of the vert vertex and check how, what is the best prefab to put there. Then, when they finish this tab, they will grab each edge like this one and add a Bezier curve to basically generate the, the entire road. So I made a small example here. So let's say that I have an edge here and another edge like here, okay? They will add this base here and they will of course create uh, a road piece like this and add an array modifier and a curve modifier. So this will be enough to, to feel my curve with my mesh so amazing so if you go in my streets layer you're gonna see that e every piece of street is separate of course i will join everything together later on but just to show you every piece is a busier cube here so i have a busier here and another one like here so this is very easy and amazing to modify or do something like this the only limitation that i'm having right now is some sometimes the street didn't fit exactly 
like this one you see here so why this is happening my curve is actually tilted somewhere I don't know how because the tilt is zero here but this the base here you tilt a little bit sometimes so like if I go this far away it tilts a little bit so I have to fix this I don't know exactly how yet but I will figure out because this is bad I can not just leave this uh, as is because it's bad but okay this is the only limitation that I'm having and later on I will create some tools to fill the streets with uh, traffic lights and props and everything that a street needs to have and this is actually very easy and I will even create the waypoints for AI so my, my generator will actually generate the waypoints to add uh, traffic and pedestrians and everything else in the city so very easy and I just have to worry about placing the dot <laughs> so this is all the gener uh, my generator my generator is about very simple very straight to the point and yes so with this I imagine that I can speed up my workflow a lot and do uh, things much more faster and efficient so this is the way I believe to create some amazing games some amazing cities and so on and of course I have to generate the entire quarter later on and then generate the, the, the buildings I already have some prototype so let me open this all these buildings here are procedural generated so yes so I just have to grab this this stuff which is the base of the building Okay, let me see if I can run this right now. Let me just run the script. Okay, uh, and then once I have this base, I just have to click here in generate building. Wait a second. Boom, my building was generated. So this is very interesting. Let me delete this and generate another one with like two ground floors and not 90, <laughs> but 30. Uh, floors wait a second this generation takes a little bit more of time but I'm thinking about optimizing this generator uh, and I actually know how to do this so I will probably do but yes this the the map is very interesting the, the output is amazing of course this is a high poly mesh but I'm planning to add uh, an auto load generator LOD generator sorry and yes, so this is already already kind of done and I just have to connect everything together to create a better results. And of course, just a disclaimer, all these assets here <laughs> are placeholder. I just created them very fast to test the algorithm. So yes, it's it. I will try to bring more updates later on. Oh, of course I have to cover this rooftop with some better assets later on. But yes, this is all work in progress. So I hope you enjoy and I see you in the last in the next video.